Okay. Well, I guess some people are here, some are not. Okay. My name is Edwin Cubias, and I am going to be your instructor this period. Yeah. So that means that we are going to be together for four weeks. We are going to be together for 16 classes. And, and during those 16 classes, we are going to do five lessons or five units, okay? So this means that we're going to do a little bit more than one unit every, every week. I'm going to share you my screen so that you can see how it's going to be with you and your platform, okay? So if you go to your platform, you should have access to this. It's called, right, Intermediate Module 3, right? okay? And you're going to see five sections. Those five sections are the activities where we're going to work for the next four weeks. When you want to see your grade, when you want to see how you're doing, you click there in the part where it says progress. Here, you click in progress, and then you can see how your grades are. Each section, there are five sections, has three activities that you have to do. These three activities, you need to have a minimum grade of 80, eight zero. So you need to have 80 to pass all of them. We also have two exams. We have one exam after unit three and one exam after the final. So when you are doing this, I don't know why there's a blue, okay? So let me go here and show you in the course. Okay. So after unit three, you're going to have a midterm. The midterm is for section one, two, and three. And then after section five, you're going to have also another exam, the final exam. This final exam is for all of the units, section one, two, three, four, and five, okay? When you finish everything, that's when you're supposed to have the minimum, the grade 80, okay? When you have the grade 80, then you receive your diploma and you pass to the next module. Is this the first time for anybody? Or have you studied before with, in, uh, with English Corporativo? Hi, hello, teacher. Hi, Jesse. My name is Estenia. Uh, well, uh, I am in English Corporativo uh, since four months, I think, in the grade level one. Okay, okay, so this is four months. Thank you, Jesse. And the others, is, is your first time or you were before? Yes, uh, I guess that all the all the, the majority of the people uh, have been in the, in the previous level. Okay, thank you, Red. Perfect. So then everybody understands how the platform works, and that if you do not come to class, it's okay. You can watch the video on YouTube. Remember, we have a YouTube channel. We have a WhatsApp group that you can also check in the WhatsApp. Um, the WhatsApp is in the email, only you click, and then you can go to the WhatsApp, the same for to watch the videos in YouTube if you are absent, and then everyone knows that already you have to have minimum 80, okay? Uh, also, I explained that we have many activities where we have small groups. These small groups are called breakout rooms in English. I think in Spanish, they just have the idea that it says uh, sala or... Uh, a group of pequeños, something like that. And then you can go to those, okay? Now, when you go into those different groups, uh, each one is, the idea is like in the class. In the class, we have the, the entire class, but when we have activities for two or three people, we have a little group here, a little group there, and that's the idea for here also, okay? So what we're going to do is 
we are going to begin with the small groups. In the small groups, we're going to learn about our partners, okay? So we're gonna ask and answer questions to your partner about you. When we finish, then we're going to tell the class something that you learned about your partners, all right? So one more time, let me explain. We are going to go to the groups. In the groups, we are going to ask and answer questions about your life and discover about you. Then when we finish, we are going to tell the class something that you learn about your partner. It's okay? Did everybody understand? Are there any questions? It's okay. It's okay, sir? It's okay. It's clear. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Then let's try it. Let's see. We learn a little bit about each other. Voy entrando. Ok, no problem. Uh, we practice uh, introduce yourself and uh, whatever question you need. Fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Well, we are here again. We need to practice. Uh, well, uh, today I have a, a experience in a supermarket. Uh, do you know the Spencer and Don Juan, right? Yes. Well, yes, I, I well, I went to buy some stuff and they told me that they they uh, was giving the plus back uh, and I didn't know the other person. Um, I think it's so, well, um, it's so easy, but um, it's not just the, the, the practices, it's more uh, to, pra to practice and speak. Yes, it's, it's a very important in this course. Yes. The most important is uh, try to understand, you know, and try to to read and and to talk, you know. You, you must speak for continue learning every day. It's different, you know. I I have been uh, I have been uh, working in different uh, groups and different lessons before because I was uh, learning with Hanfield School, but maybe five years ago, then uh, after that, uh, I was uh, working in the cruise ships. I worked like five years and all what I, all what I learned for, I put in practice, you know, because the necessity of try to uh, understand and the, uh, that the other person understand you uh, uh, it's, a, um, it's like an obligation you know that you must understand it because in, in in the cruise ships many people is different nationalities there are Greek there are Russians uh, yes. different cultures you know then nobody speak Spanish nobody speak it their own language but the most important is the uh, that is the language number one that is english yes and, i think at this time is more important i think it's more important talk english than spanish because 
you can you can take more more opportunities in in the jobs or in another country i think yes because uh, uh, the vocabulary is sometimes difficult trying to learn you know and try to uh, to keep in your mind but practicing practicing every day and try to listen music try to try to think in english everything do you want to need to uh, next vanessa maybe okay okay i am working with my family is the business family and then only starting for english And then only that work and study and hmm. next Monica. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you, teacher? I'm fine, thank you. So did you did you talk to your partners? Yes, it and my partners in the other. And I go for uh, other okay. uh, sections. Oh, what did you learn about Nuria? Previous section with Doris and Nuria. Um, I don't remember with conversation in the other, in the previous section. Okay, well, go ahead. You can go ahead and talk with Nuria. Nuria, we are only talking about ourselves. We are asking questions and only getting to know each other. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good fine. evening. Nice to see you. I'm sorry because the. Um, uh, fear ones. Son is uh, seven years old. They ha she have seven. Yes. The girl. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your fear, uh, your fear daughter is uh, signs to 20 years ago, uh, seven years ago, you have 20 years old. 20, yes, 10. When she born. Exciting, exciting. Okay, really nice. To a uh, very younger. Yes. <laughs> okay, and you you got married? No. Um... Okay. ¿Cómo se dice acompañado? ¿Cómo se dice? Living together. Living together. Oh, ah, okay. sí, es cierto. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Living together. Teacher, to what's your together. name, teacher? My name is Edwin. E Edward? Edwin. Edwin. Edwin? Wow. I never hear that. How name. old are you, teacher? There. Teacher. Dennis? Edwin. El Edwin. Uh -huh. ah, Edwin. 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 Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I am 41 years old, Reina. 40? 41. 41. Oh. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty well. Yes, yes. And you, Reina, how old are you? Um, 27 years old. Oh, 27. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you, and you, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, she had three children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh, me too, Reina. I have three children and two yes. gr and two grandchildren. Wow! Oh. Uh, okay. I win! So I win! Hilarious. I win! You see, Reina? <laughs> two children and so two grandchildren. Okay. And two. And yeah. 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 Two grandchildren. The life is Very fast. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. How old are your children, Reina? Dennis, do you have children? Yes, teacher, two. Yes. Oh, two also. Children. Two boys. Two, two boys. Yes. Okay. And how old are your children? Uh, my first one had five, five and a half years old, and the second one had two years old. Oh, they are young, very young. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And for you, Reina, how old are your children? Um, three, one, um, one girls, two boys. Mm -hmm. Girl, the girls is seven years old. And first boy, Four years old and the second oh. one, one years old. Okay. Okay. Uh, young too. They're young. Yeah. No, yeah. no, they're yes. young. <laughs> yeah. And, and your and your and your sons or daughter teacher? Oh, my children are older. My son <laughs> is, yeah, my son, <laughs> my son is 22 years old. Okay. Uh huh. My daughter is seventeen years old, and my other son, oh, okay. seventeen. Mm -hmm. And then my other son is uh, thirteen years old. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Very nice. Yes, my children. For, I mean, that's why. That's why I am a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Of course, of course. Uh -huh. you, you have a a, a boy uh, with twenty two years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. Uh huh. But it's it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your and your um, grand uh, children. Mm -hmm. I don't know how do you say. Uh, how do you say nietos in English? Nietos is grandchildren? Correct. It's, con it's correct. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. How, how old they are? Uh, one is five years old. And it's then... Five. Okay. Yes. And the other is two months. Two months? Two months. <gasps> Okay, oh. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It's uh -huh. a baby. Yes, yes, it's a baby. Yeah. It's, it's, oh. it's, it's, it's a boy or it's a girl? It's the, the one that is five years old is a girl. Yeah. And the it's one, okay. uh -huh, and the one that is two months is a boy. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but your your um, your son mm -hmm. your first your first son uh, they they had 18 years when your first son born correct correct okay, okay. Uh -huh. well technically technically 17 but yes Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. 
because this year my son turns 23. So, but, but yes, this is the idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Well, um, all I right. No, um, Okay, does anybody have any questions? I think it was uh, vocabulary or how to make a question or something you forgot. About what, teacher? About when you ask your partners. Uh, sometimes you say, oh, how do I say this vocabulary or how do I ask this question or something like this uh, no my partner told me uh, a good english because i i understand them uh, is they say right the things okay i think but for example uh, i i was talking with her and with uh, Lisette, said with said and we talk different things a little bit no more more big uh, for example Joel tell us uh, Lisette to me uh, uh, this day was relaxed because he is staying oh uh, no this day is relaxed because uh, it's not finished yet uh, because he is staying his house and he did some uh, stuff and decorate uh fix fix tools so i don't think uh the thing that men do in in their house when they have a free time <laughs> replace repair some things i don't know um and he said uh, told a whole to me uh uh, she went to uh, her job and she is stressed because she because she is starting um, uh, uh, she is starting this day because it's the end of the week uh, it was uh, the experience that we have to start. excellent Jesse thank you very much mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? What did you learn about your partners or what did you talk about? Anything that you wanted to share? Everything's okay, uh, Professor. I want to make you one question. I'm sorry, you know, I just arrived a little late. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was in the module one and intermediate uh, two. Now we are in intermediate intermediate uh, three. But the uh, first time I see you and before was Mr. Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, he was our teacher before, you know. Now I want to know your name. Oh, well, yes, no problem. Yes, I, I want to introduce you to myself. My name is Salvador Hernandez. Okay, Salvador. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, uh, my Good name, problem. my name is Edwin Cubillas. Oh, Edwin. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my pleasure. You know? Yeah. <laughs> likewise. So it, it was great. All right. So yes, we are. I, I mentioned at the beginning that uh, we are going to be together for sixteen classes. That's uh, this month. The module. Um, normally, the the. In, Inglés Corporativo likes to change the teachers every module. Usually it's every module that you change. Um, sometimes sometimes it's two, they, they you have the teacher for two modules, but usually it's every module they like to change because they want the people to hear different accents. They want you to hear different people speaking English. So it's not only the teacher, the one, one, one teacher. No, you hear one person, you hear another. Then it's normal for hear different accents. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All okay, right. Mr. Edwin, uh, oh. I'm here again, and uh, my pleasure again. <laughs> All right, Salvador. Thank you. 
Nice to see you. All right. Well, let me give you an example. I learned uh, from my listening to the groups, I learned that actually Salvador used to work on the cruise ship. And he and he used and he used to work in uh, going on the boats. Those are the big boats, the cruises. Um, I didn't hear what he I didn't hear what he did, but I know that he worked on those for many years. Yes, I I was working with the uh, Royal Caribbean Cruises. They have a they have the what is the uh, they are they are located in the Miami, you know. They are located in Miami. Then, uh, when I just start to work with them, uh, was in two thousand seven, and I work with them eight years. I'm a mechanical a te te technician, you know. Uh, then I work with them in uh, temporary uh, contracts. Uh, for example, sometimes they call me to work with them for four months, sometimes three months, sometimes six months. And this company is a very nice company because they pay me everything, you know, the ticket, the hostel, uh, all the expenses, the traveling expenses. For example, if I live from Salvador to Miami or from Miami, I must take another plane to Europe and I spend $200. They, they pay me back, you know, all the traveling expenses. And when I just arrive to Europe or my destiny, uh, they just received me with an agent in the in the airport. They would take me to the ship or in a hotel if we must to wait for the the ship that is coming or is arriving the next day, you know. And very nice company, you know. Then I put in practice all what I am my friend as I told before them that I just read, 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 write, write before. But when was this, I'm not sure if this school is uh, still alive, you know, this is a handful school. And this was, uh, this uh, school was only for, for mail, you know, when you need to write to make your exams and you need to mail back, you know, by, by mail, everything, no for computer, you know, I make my exams and everything. Then, I always carry my book, a big book, because all the lessons I put in, in one pack. One by one, I make a book, a big book, one pack. Every time I would travel, I, I carry my book and I read every night and I put in practice with different persons, with Russians, with friends from Indonesia, from Philippines, from all the countries, you know, then when you try to give your uh, your knowledge, to put your knowledge that another person understand what you want to, to what what you want to to say your idea, they understand you. If you are trying to put the verbs and the conversation in the in the correct form, you know, and uh, I remind that. And I was trying to say one word, one verb, and I remember the book, you know, and I put in this moment. Sometimes I make mistakes, sometimes I, I make it in the correct form. And like that, every year, every year, I was learning just a little more. And practice is the, the cloud, you know. But it's a very nice work. Now I don't have the you know, opportunity because with this pandemic, Everything is closed uh, in the United States. The cruise ships, uh, all the uh, trying to say the this company sailing sailing boats, the cruise ships, the cargo ships, the chemicals ships, the tanker ships. Everything is stopped because 
it's difficult this illness that we are suffering in all the world and for me the most important you know is trying to in this moment to change my kind of job that i have i'm mechanical you know a mechanic technician but it's difficult in our country you know for salaries for opportunities every time i thinking about uh, flying away you know going out to work again to the ship another country because salaries and opportunities here is difficult but the claw and the key is another language and the english is the most important step that everyone can take for going ahead okay thank you salvador thank you all yeah. right anybody else did they learn something from their partners or they learn something about their partners they like to share No, I like I like that you practice your English a lot. Okay, so uh, like Salvador says, the practice is the best. It's a good idea. It's good that you practice with your partners. That's important. Even if you don't practice in the class because sometimes you are nervous, you don't know what to say, it's okay. That's why the, that is the function of the small groups. The small groups is you feel more secure. You feel better because there's, there's only two or three people and it's easier for you to practice. So don't worry. Don't worry if you don't practice here, you can practice in the groups. And today I'm going to, we're going to be learning about, I, um, I explained that we have to do several lessons. Uh, we have today, we're going to be beginning with the platform section 1.0, okay? Um, this is the idea of learning the passive voice. So first we're going to watch a small video about the passive and then I'm going, going to explain if you don't understand the passive. Um, before we watch the video about the passive, does anybody know what this is? Have you heard of the passive before? Do you have an idea? What is the passive? No. This is the passive verb, huh? Um, kind of. It, exactly. It's the idea. We're going to watch a video, and then maybe from the video we we can understand a little bit the difference when active and passive. Um, it's good if you have a notebook or a piece of paper, um, because. If you watch the video, it's nice, you understand. But when you write in your own words or when you write your examples, it's easier for you to remember. It's better for you to remember, okay? But let's, let's watch this video. Passive voice, but before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action. Number two, there's no doer of an action. And number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. 
So only think about how you would put that in order. What would be the correct way? My sister wrote this book in 2010. Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by, in 2010, written, was. So the same idea, how would that, those words be into a sentence? My sister, my sister, his, his book. My sister was writing. My sister writing this book. Were this you book. To it? I this hope book did. was writing. This book uh, was writing. Sister in my sister in 2010. Right to my sister. Yeah. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book. It was my sister. This book was written by my sister. This book is the object, was, was or were. Written is the past participle of the verb. By, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember, we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. So, the first is, let's take a look. What do you understand is the passive voice? Me, teacher? Yes, Jesse. Can I explain? Yes, uh, well, for, well, for me, I understand that the passive boy is um, uh, the situation was made for someone, for someone else. Uh, Por decirlo, este, como dice el ejemplo ahí, que lo vi en la plataforma, este, el edificio fue construido por, eh, no sé, el nombre de alguien, o, o ajá, porque ese valle es como por, ¿verdad? That's eh, right, just por, right. Ajá, por decir, la comida fue hecha por mí. The food was made by me. Entonces, así puedo entenderlo. Ok, Jesse, that's, that's one way of understanding. Good. Very good. The idea is, like Jesse said, um, that we don't focus on the person. It's not I made the food. It's not Jesse made the food. The focus is the food. The food was made. And then we add the word by. By is only if you want to explain who did the action. It's not necessary. So for example, the room was cleaned, the building was constructed, okay? The house was built, okay? The food was prepared. If you want to explain who, ah, uh, by, by Jesse. 
by Grupo eh, Roble, by eh, eh, Denis. Okay, this is whatever you want is the by for explain the person. The focus of the passive is to change how you speak. When you are active, you focus the person. Salvador fixed the motor. Dennis watched the videos. Joel participated in class. But when we have the passive, is not the person. Is the motor was fixed. Because it's not important who. Uh, for example, uh, Salvador said he worked for um, Carnival, I think. I think he said Carnival Cruises. And no, Royal Caribbean. Thank you, Royal Caribbean. So <laughs> Royal Caribbean doesn't care who fixes the motors. Royal Caribbean doesn't care who repairs the machines. The important for Royal Caribbean is the machine is repaired. The boat is working. This is the important. And for that, we use the passive, okay? For example, if I have a YouTube channel, I don't care who watches the YouTube. I only care the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel was watched because I don't care if it's, it's too many people. It's not important who, the important is I have people that watch it. That is the passive, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do two activities with our partners to help us practice the passive. The first activity, eh, yes, yes, yes. Entonces sería eh, eh, como dice que el foco es como la, es que no, es que, es que no sé cómo es, sí le entiendo un poquito, pero no sé cómo explicarlo, o, o no sé si usted me ayuda. Es como este, como la idea de la, de, de, de lo que estoy haciendo, la acción, en ese momento. Es que se va y me ha confundido. Ok, all right, Jesse. Think it, no, it's not like that. It, think of like this. Um, you have in the normal sentence, you have an action, right? You have the person, the action, the object. In the passive mm -hmm. is change, object, okay? Action, person. So the normal sentence, the person, I, the action, teach the object, English, but in the passive is object, English first, then the action is taught, and then the person by me. So the, the focus of the passive is, the, the focus is to look at the object, who receives the action or who we are talking about in the action. No, is no, no, who is performing the action. Correct. Not who is performing. That is called okay. the, who performs is called the active. And who okay. receives is the called the passive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Gracias, You're welcome. Ya me suena un poquito más avanzado. <laughs> okay. Gracias. You're welcome, Jesse. You're welcome. Okay. So, let me explain what we're going to do. We actually have two activities that we are going to do. Activity number one is we are going to make the three sentences that are in the video 1.1, we are going to put them into the passive form. This is the first activity. Then we are going to go to 1.2 and we are going to complete this knowledge check 1.2 we read and select which option is the correct option, okay? This we're going to do with our partners. So two activities, one, speaking, put the sentence into the passive, and two, reading and selecting with our partners. Remember, in the passive, the grammar is always <laughs> past participle. So it's never the verb in past or the verb in present, always the verb is past participle. It's okay? Okay, yes, you, yes. Um, um, you can explain an example? Yes. Of yes. the past participle? Yes, Dennis, no problem. 
So Thank you, teacher. you're welcome. So I, I'm going to put in the chat to make it easier to see and hear. Okay. So uh, Dennis, do you like pizza? Yes, sir. Me too. What pizza do you like? Uh, pepperoni. Okay. For example. Okay, perfect. So in the chat, you can see, uh, oh, I think I put Dennis wrong. I put two N's and one S. No problem, teacher. Okay, okay. So we can see the example in the chat, the focus, the pizza, the action was eaten, eaten past participle. And who, who ate, who ate all the pizza? The pepperoni pizza? Dennis, Dennis ate all the pepperoni yes. pizza. That is the passive. Okay. Yeah. The active, nice. the active is I begin with Dennis. Dennis ate, and then the object, the pizza, or Dennis ate the pepperoni pizza. Okay. But no, I don't want active. I want to focus in the passive, the pizza, the focus on the object. Ah, uh, the pizza. And what happened with the pizza? The pizza was burned. The pizza was cooked. The pizza disappeared. What? No, the pizza was eaten. It was ah, eaten by Dennis. By <laughs> Dennis, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah. So we're going to go with our partners. Two activities. One, the speaking. And activity two is complete 1.2 in the platform. 1.2 is the knowledge check, is the first knowledge check for our class. Remember, minimum 80 in the knowledge check. You need to have on all the grades minimum 80 to pass. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's go to our groups and let's, let's complete them. Good night. Hi, everyone. Good night, Joel. Good night, Doris. Good night. Um, aprovechando, teacher. Uh, yes, uh, The passive voice is different from the past participle? Or is yes. The same? No, it's different. The past participle is only the verb only the verb and we use the past participle with other grammar for example uh, present perfect past perfect uh, many other grammars the, oh, okay. the passive voice is focus the object and the action that is uh, it. okay okay oh okay 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 good mm -hmm. Activity one, one point two. Maybe uh, uh, in the platform. Yeah, but, uh, I can see the platform in the moment. Jesse, no, me too. Jesse, do you have um, uh, headphones? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, okay. They are black like me. <laughs> no, no. It's like no, your, no, but my, my like hair. your hair, yeah. Yes. I am brunette. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just yes. <soy> bronceada. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay. I was curious because there's a lot of there's a lot like, of like there's like a party in your house. Uh, and no. we hear we hear the people talking and laughing and, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's it. But my neighborhood, my I neighborhood are uh, celebrating. Are celebrating. <laughs> I don't know my neighbor. They are talking about no problem. Happened. No problem, Jesse. No problem. Okay. Okay. Well, only for the other. Only for the others to know, because it, sometimes it's a little difficult to hear you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes, in my case, I am the next to in the window. Uh, uh, and my neighborhood lives close to me, very close, because my house is very small. It's a, how do you say pasaje? Uh, dice pasaje? There is no pasaje in, in, in English. It's only uh, there's only a small it's only like uh -huh, a small, small street. street. Small <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lydia, exactly. It's only yes. a small street. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the situation when I open my house and I see my neighbor. Oh, oh huh? hello. Yeah. <laughs> I, sm I smell the dinner, oh. it's delicious. <laughs> ah yes, and, and I always ask. It. Wow, it's, it smells good. What's the food we are uh, eating today? <laughs> okay. It's no. a yo. <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. Okay, no problem. But that way the other people understand also. That's that's why if you hear a little bit of noise, ah, don't worry, it's the, the <laughs> Jesse's neighbors. Don't worry. Okay. Before I continue, are there any questions for the passive? Do you understand? Uh, yes, because teacher, uh, ¿cómo vemos la plataforma para trabajar el 1.2? ¿Qué dijo del knowledge? Correct, 1.2. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo vemos la plataforma si estamos aquí en la, en la computadora trabajando? Eh, ponerla, pon, lo, pones en, aquí ahorita mismo, en, uh -huh. la, en la parte inferior. Hay uno de ese, hay un botón, te aparece un botón verde, tal vez te va a aparecer como compartir pantalla o va a ser tres share, puntos. Share, share screen. screen, share uh -huh. screen. Uh -huh. Ahí le das, pero aparte de darle, uh -huh. te va a aparecer otra pantalla. Antes de poner aceptar, hay un cuadrito en la, paja, en la parte de abajo que dice eh, compartir audio de la computadora o compartir algo. Cuando pones share screen, te va a aparecer eso. Hoy no es necesario, porque hoy no estamos compartiendo videos. Pero en, pero en otra ocasión, eh, si querés que los compañeros escuchen lo que estás viendo, el video o lo que sea, tenés que ponerle eh, eh, compartir audio. Hoy porque, hoy porque solo es escritura y hablando entre nosotros. ¿Ok? Bueno, la vez pasada ah, quisimos ah. hacer eso y no nos permitió, fíjense que sale, dice que hay demasiados conectados y no nos permitió compartir pantalla. ¿no? Intenta ahorita, Lidia, vamos a ver si te ah, puedes. Ah, ok. Y nosotros tenemos que tener ah, la, la pantalla ahorita abierta. sí. Ya entendí, hoy sí, ya, ya ah, viste sí cómo. Sale. Ahí sí. está, ajá. Y dice Share So, Optimizer for Video Clip también. Ajá, es que ahí puedes elegir qué tipo, pero solo compartir pantalla, full screen y, y ya. Y ya puedes compartir pero, pero, con Jesse. Uh -huh, okay. ah, pero, pero tenemos que pero tener... Pero tengo la... que tener abierta la plataforma, sí. Ajá. Tengo que ir a abrir la plataforma. Exacto. Ah, entonces con usted tenemos que tener abierta la plataforma. Ah, o, sea, o sea, uno de nosotros tiene que abrir la plataforma. Uh, y exacto. Uno de usted, no importa quién sea, puede ser Rodrigo, puede ser Jesse, puede ser vos, pero uno tiene que compartirlo y los tres pueden ver y okay. hacer las actividades juntos. Ok, Eso. I try, ah, I try, okay. I try. Ok. okay. okay. Okay, voy a ver si puedo. Ah, pues antes de la clase tenemos Aquí lo que más sabemos quién nos va a tocar también. Pero yo tengo, yo, te, yo tenía abierta la plataforma y la cerré hace un momento, pero aquí la tengo. Ok, vamos a ver si la puedo ver. Uh -huh. Ya aprendimos un poco más para la matata. Sí, uh. okay. Para el conocimiento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, aquí no sé plataforma que estamos. Quita la plataforma de aprendizaje, ahí voy. Garego, garego, garego. Hello. Hello, ok, vamos a trabajar más tecnológico. Pues. <ríe> more okay. technology. More technology. Yo tengo otro, otra. Okay, ahí estoy okay. Voy ahí. ¿Qué ya tomé? Oh, ¿Por qué se me va a poner la, la pantalla? No, 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 no,
Okay. ok, ahí voy ahora a ver si la comparto, a ver si la, la encontramos. Voy, 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 voy. ¿Dónde estoy? Ya me perdí. Aquí estoy. Uh -huh. Oh, teacher. Eh, ya, ya no, no hay, no hay la, uh, la extensión ahorita de aquí, del de, de Zoom. Ajá, el de Zoom y tené, después de compartir pantalla, tenés que poner, eh, por ejemplo, toda pantalla, solo una ventana, only this window, lo que sea, y después aceptar. Porque si solo pones compartir pantalla, no estás compartiendo todavía porque te dice qué es lo que quieres compartir. Si quieres compartir solo una parte o quieres compartir todo. Pero si ya lo tenés ahí en la plataforma, solo pones compartir pantalla, aceptar eh, esta ventanilla, lo que sea, y ya. Sí, sí, está, estaba bien, estaba bien todo, pero me fui, minimicé en la pantalla donde estamos en la clase y me fui a, a buscar la plataforma. Entonces ahora no sé cómo regresar, donde estamos todos. <risa> donde está no, Zoom, donde sea no, que está Zoom, ahí, de ahí lo vas a hacer. Sí, aquí estoy en Zoom. Chávenme es y sí, no, no me saqué. Oh my God. Okay, you try, you try. Let me check the other groups. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Por, thank pero you. Lo, impor lo importante es que lo logran hacer porque mm. no lo van a lograr terminar porque ya son las 10. Pero sí. <laughs> con, que, con que aprenden a hacer cómo compartir y ya las otras clases se le va a hacer más fácil. Okay, teacher. Ah, no. Any questions? For this moment, any question for my part. Okay. Silvia or Lisette, any questions? I, I, not for no. this moment, no. Okay. For this moment, not. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. I am working in the platform. Excellent. Together, together you work 1.2. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Any questions? Yes. Uh, yeah. We don't. We don't know where is this the first exercise, the three mm -hmm. sentences. Okay. We didn't take a screenshot, and we we'll look for the exercise in the platform, and I don't know where it is. Ah. The first exercise is 1.1, is the video from 1.1. And is the video. Is the video. At the end oh, of the video, at the end, the last five seconds, the last five seconds is the three sentences. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. Finishing the video. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. In finishing the video is the three sentences. But, uh, but in 1.2, uh, with the with the passive voice, it's okay. Yes, I, I think I can handle that topic. Okay, so, okay, yeah. and, and for you, Salvador, it's okay. And one point one or one point two? One point two. No, I go now and this. Uh, okay, okay. I want to check and this. Uh, uh, select an option. Eh? Yes, yes, with Joel. You can read the sentence and together you can select or discuss which do you think is the correct option. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The song yesterday. In, in your list. Lydia, could you share or no? Okay. Don't worry. You are on mute, but I see the smile. And the, the smile says yes. It's universal. 
don't worry, even if it's on mute. Teacher, si pudimos, oye, mañana vamos a poder <laughs> Don't worry, it is is the normal, it's the normal. The first day, always is normal how to uh, access the platform, share the screen, uh, share audio, it, it, it's, it's normal. That's why it's no problem. The important, the problem is that not always is the same partners because the partners are from the computer. I put the, the groups in the computer, select who is your partner. So maybe maybe today is one partner, maybe tomorrow is different partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the, tru the trick, the trick, the trick, ¿cómo se dice truco? The trick? Ah, the trick is uh, we need uh, we need to have open the platform in during the class because it's a surprise. Who will start talking? We need to be the technology. <laughs> yeah, it, if, if you have, for example, right now we do Zoom. If you have Zoom, you can share the screen. You can share with your partner. And then that way your partner and you, you do the exercises together or you can answer. The, the idea to work together is so that you can discuss and you can improve your speaking at the same time. Not only ah, A, B, no, read the sentence. I think, I believe, I feel because you have to learn how to express your opinions. This All is right. yes. Okay. We can help us. Nos podemos ayudar también. Una yes. se va llenando la plataforma. Yes. Yeah, you help each other. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. We are going to pause right there because it's it's a little it's already time for us to go to go and relax and we continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay. Good night. Good night, well. good night everyone. Good, good night. night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. What is your name, teacher? Edwin. 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 Yes, Sylvia. Edwin. Edwin. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know. Thank you, oh. teacher. Good night. Good See night. You See you tomorrow. Yeah.